Morning guys, welcome back. Today is going to be one of the most exciting days for us. We are going to dive into that in a little bit, but firstly, I want to address a few things. I sound a bit dusty, I'm just super tired because we played Friday night football last night and what an epic game it was. Unfortunately, we didn't run away with the points. The pies were too good in the end, but we gave it a red hot crack. It was uh, pretty intense, very, always is against the pies, a very intense game in front of a big crowd. Just want to start with two things. One, thank you so much for all the support on the first video. Had an absolute blast and there's going to be many, many farming videos uh, to, to come in the future. And two, I'm not an umpire. I know I kicked a couple of goals from outside the boundary, but we move on okay. All I do is grab the ball and try and kick goals. So thanks for all your messages um, of support. Well, I wouldn't say they're supportive. I'm... Anyway, we move on. Today, today is going to be an absolute epic day. Myself, Indy and Macy are here in Melbourne and we're about to go pick up our brand new titanium caravan. Now this is something that's been uh, happening in the background. It's something that we always envisioned after football would purchase a caravan and we want to travel. We've got great friends and family doing that at the moment. Very jealous, but whilst I'm in football, I never thought I'd need a caravan. However, a few things have happened, a few things have changed, and we decided, you know what? It would be absolutely epic to get away in the off season and use this caravan. They're such a fantastic piece of equipment, and we're gonna show you all about it over the next few hours as we drive into Titanium. We meet the team, we meet Jace, who's um, an absolute star. Unfortunately, I think he's a think he's an Essendon supporter and we're doing the handover so the handover is basically whenever someone buys a brand new caravan do a couple of hours of handover so you walk through the caravan this is what this is how it works this is how you use this this is how you set up your awning this is how you you just run over the whole entire van so I'm looking forward to doing that hopefully we can show you a little bit along the way let's just see what happens Righto guys, we're down here in Titanium's brand new showroom with owner Jace. How are you mate? Good mate, good. Look at the vans in here, there's quite a few. There's heaps here man, we really can't wait to show you through the van. Nice clean space here, a bit better than the factory, so can't wait to get into it. Very good, let's go check it out let's shall we? Go. I take it this is the van by the way, so I'm not filming someone else's van. Check it out, this is unreal. All your dirty like hoses and uh, sullage hoses and stuff in here, just yeah. light stuff like in your 240 leak, and then it keeps your front toolbox nice and clean. Yeah, like, that's, have to put that dirty it's stuff such back. a tidy finish. Yeah, and that's made here. Yeah, we make it. You make it yeah. here, yeah. We opened a fabrication shop around the corner. Everything's done on a fiber laser, which is highly accurate. Have a look in here. Still learning it all. We can put holes everywhere to just get the weight down. Yeah, so we're adding about 60 kilos, and we got it down to only adding 40. 40 kilos, yeah. To the yeah. back of the van, yeah. From a traditional bar. Tunnel boot goes through. That goes right through to that, the other side. That's right through, yeah. Oh yeah, there, there we go, you can see that. Plenty of storage. So we, we make this too. And normally they weld everything together. Yep. But with the laser, we can uh, put holes everywhere and rivet everything together. Because the rivet's stronger than a weld over time. Draw there for storage. That goes right through as well. Weber goes there, the baby queue. I've got the baby queue as Beautiful. well. So it goes on there. It's all about how you can maximise space, isn't it? Yeah. Got the drawer. Um, and you can put it, in, well, that's for a generator, but you can put whatever you want there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, it's a great colour too, I like yeah, it. Yeah, uh, the colour combination's really nice. We'll go for a look inside, Dal. Here we go, the bed. A little muffin. Yeah, they do brekkie for you. Oh, we, we've got them. Um, first, we, first class service. Were you out of bounds? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. leather's really nice. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's good. Beautiful. So water. So you got the front tank, which is showing full. Yeah. The, the rear tank is empty, and the grey is empty. And you got hot water, water pump. Please turn that off if you're connected to mains. Yeah. And then on, obviously, if you're not connected to mains. Fridge freezer. 
The size of it. A few bevs in there. Oh. Hang on. It's after we set up. It's us tonight. Yeah. <laughs> the bunks. Charging. Well, not that you'll need this for any for any time soon, but they've got <laughs> their own charging points, stuff like that. Light fan. You can heat up some water here yeah. for the bottles or whatever else you want to heat up. And you got your yeah. fly, fly screen. Keep the flies out. Or block out. Yeah. Bubba, this is your caravan. <laughs> Look, Bubba. There's your bunk bed. Do you want to go on the top or the bottom? All right, Jace, talk us through what this is, mate. Right? <laughs> this is the cinema room in a caravan. So you're sitting on the couch, which is comfy as, and you actually fit you on it. Could probably, yeah. You could probably fit maybe four or five yeah, people absolutely. on this couch. And yeah, kids will love it. So there'll be a PlayStation here as well. Do the kids so, get this, or is this where you watch the Mighty oh, Bombers? You've got the three bunks, but yeah. a bit of a cinema room. Halfway down the van, there's still more at the back. Beautiful big ensuite. Just yeah. for the people at home, this is not our van. <laughs> this will have another, this will have another 50 inch screen. Yep. So it'll have a lid that comes up, and a lid that folds down, that'll have like your induction cooker, sandwich press, or your a pantry, yep. or your outside cooking stuff. Yeah, so yeah. It'll, it'll be double as both. But tucked in there. Yeah, tucked in there, the TV up nice up and high. Wow. Put the footy on. Yeah. And that's, this is on the opposite side to where that that's television right. was in there. Yeah. Still R&D. No one can order it yet. That's all right. Plenty of testing. That's it. I know a bloke that can test it for you if you want. <laughs> Go, Pies. Going oh, for a spin around the block here. <laughs> Time to tow this thing home. <laughs> Excited, Dar? Thanks, Rob. Well, thanks, mate. You Thank Bye you very much. Uh, Look I'll at that you. scarf. Get you need to get that off. But right. seriously, good luck. Perfect. Good luck in finals. Thanks, Jace. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Awesome, mate. Pleasure. We'll be in touch. I'll forget yeah. something anyway. But to go camping again. Yeah, I know. The fire. I think that's the plan. We're gonna yeah. get all the car all the titaniums down to the farm, and we'll um yeah. we'll have a bit of a mission down there, a bit of a cook up, get the fire going. That's it. Can't go wrong. We can do that, but the only problem is the cows are too big now. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. So. Just got to get it home safely now. Jeez, that machine sounds good too, doesn't it? Right, uh, let's get on the road. Well, we have towed the van all the way from the warehouse in Melbourne back to the farm here. I've already forgotten half of the things that Jace has uh, spoken to me about how things work, where to put things. There's lots of things to remember. I'm, I'm more someone that learns from just trying and failing and trying again, you know, I'll work it out. I'm about to set up absolutely everything on the outside, get the awning out, light a fire here tonight. This is us, beautiful conditions. There's nothing better than having a nice warm shower and then sitting out by the fire, maybe having a quiet tin, just to, like a you know, like a um, a uh, soft drink, of course. So, uh, join us. Let's go. I love this box that goes on the back. It's look at that. How tidy it looks. It all sits in there, so firm and snug. Another big box on the front. Jace also showed us all the way through this, but probably tongs. Whatever you want goes up there. Utensils, is that what it's called, Dal? What do you call like what do you call tongs and utensils. Hey? Utensils. Cooking utensils, yeah, that's it. Let's have a look inside the van. Indy set it up a little bit more here. We've got the beds being made, ready to go. This table actually folds down. Then there's a cushion that goes on top that makes that another bed and someone else can Macy can have a sleep over with her friend. Um, we've got the, everything set up along here. We've already seen this with Jace, but we'll have another look. Macy's bunk, bottom bunk, so she doesn't roll out. You can actually get a little thing that we'll get here that stops her from rolling around in there. I'm not sure we checked out the toilet yesterday. Just a quick run through. We've got the toilet there, basin, powder cupboard. You've got your washing machine, your vents that open up. You can open and close them. The fans reverse as well, so you can bring in fresh air. You've got your mirror right there and big shower. So uh, I can't wait to jump in that later. Probably won't take the camera in there. Just don't think I'm good enough to get the awning out by myself. So I'm going to have to get Indy to give me a hand with that. But I think that's the next thing we set up. It could be funny because I've completely forgotten how to do it. Make sure you flick this little button here, yeah? We need a time out, time out. <laughs> I've forgotten. Get a bill. It's been six hours and we've only got to this stage. Sun's going down. 
All right. Billy, we did it. Come here. We did it. We did it, bud. We did it. Oh, you're wet. Forgotten chairs. Awning's out. So I'm going to race back on the quad bike and grab some chairs so I can sit around the fire, get the fire stoked up. Mm. How did I set it up the other day? It was a good angle. I loved it. It was a really nice angle. Is that? Yeah. Well, it's just a little bit of a farm stay, but just on your own farm. What a ripping knife for it, ladies and gentlemen. To uh, go get some fire lighters, though. That's flattening. Seems uh, every 10 minutes I've got to go back to the house and grab something because I've forgotten it, but at least it's only 300 metres away. Right, eh? Well, starting a fire is pretty simple if you have the right tools. I'm not really someone that's got the time to rub some sticks together, so um, I like to, well, it's simple, I like to uh, just drown it in diesel. What you do is you start with your smaller twigs on the bottom, break them up. Oh, jeez. Oh. That's gonna go up so good. Give it a lick of diesel. Very important it's not petrol. Let's give it a lick of diesel. And we're away. How good, Billy? Oh, hey, bud. Give me a cuddle. Give me a cuddle. Give me a cuddle. What's that? It's nice. How nice is it? <laughs> First night in the brand new titanium hardcore. I was going to say you need a beer in your hand, but there's already a beer there. It might be broken. No, well, it's not a beer. It's a lemonade. It's not a beer, it's a lemonade, it's a school night, remember? Actually, I know what I can show you. This is exciting too, guys. Hang on, hold on. Oh. Now, it's exciting, but it's also a little bit flattening. I come down to this dam today, and I'm just walking around it like I quite often do, and I've found a fish on the bank. A lot of people probably think that's not too interesting, but for me, Billy, leave it. He's just about to eat it. For me, I actually put these fish in the dam. So I put golden perch and I put silver perch. So I put them in, they were that big, right? That big in Feb. In Feb. Now look at them. Now, unfortunately, this one's died. I think it's a golden perch. Yeah, it's a golden perch or a yellow belly. I put about maybe 50 or 60 in this dam. So that's a great sign, isn't it? That's probably gone 10 times the size of what it was when I released it. This dam here holds about 50 and that's the size of them now. I just thought I'd show you. Go back there, hopefully it gets going again. Very doubtful. Can't stop looking at it. I just can't stop looking at it. Billy's over here hunting possums. All he does is hunt possums up and down the fence line, up and down the fence line. I'll tell you what we can do. We can go check the lambs. Should we go check the lambs while this fire's just soaking up? My other mob of sheep have just started lambing as well. So there's there's twins over there. And possibly since we've been setting up the titanium, there's been more. So let's go have a quick look. How good are these little ones going? These two here, that's that you that hadn't given birth? In my last video, she hadn't given birth. Twins. Thought it was triplets. Wrong. Twins. Have a go at these little fellas here. There's so many of them. I think there's 13 in that paddock now. 13 from eight ewes. Not bad. I think there's freshies over here. We'll go have a look. All right, I've just parked the quad bike because we got some freshies just here. The, these guys are only born today. You can see their little heads in the grass here. They are tiny. Go, 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 as fast as you can. Oh, they're moving well. As far as I can see, no more Lambos. Let's get back to the fire. Let's cook up a feed. Let's sit around the fire and just relax. She's really going at the moment. It's probably gonna get it harder and harder to see out here, but I'll be able to turn some lights on, but I'll sit around the fire and whatnot and, uh, 
cook up a feed here soon. On one of my videos, I'm gonna get you guys to leave a lot of comments around questions you'd like to ask the dart. What we're gonna do is we're gonna light a fire on a nice, cold, chilly, still afternoon. We're gonna light a fire and we're gonna have a chat around it. I'm gonna answer all your questions. Probably not all of them because there's gonna be some seriously silly questions. There's gonna be some beautiful questions. There's gonna be some really intriguing questions. Uh, there's gonna be some brutal questions, but I'll try and get through most of them, all right? So be, uh, yeah, be ready for that. That's gonna be a good little episode, I reckon. Welcome back to Darty's Cook Up. That's warm. Get them on, get them on, get them in, get them in, get them in. I'm hungry. That's the sound I want to hear uh, when I'm when I'm cooking on a campfire. Just that sizzle, crackle, sizzle, crackle. You just know it's getting the job done. You know. Morning, guys. A little bit of a late start again. It's becoming a little bit of a habit for me. I need to get up just before the sunrise, but it's just peeking through right now. The fire's going. The dog's happy. And we're gonna throw the drone in the sky and capture some of this sunrise. Let's go do it. I have absolutely no idea how good or bad that drone footage is. I tell you what, it's been, it's probably been 18 months since I've put that thing in the sky. A little bit rusty on the controls. Unfortunately, it wasn't an amazing sunrise. I was hoping, I was just fingers crossed last night, the sunrise was just gonna be one of those real pink, beautiful, little bit of cloud cover shining up, amazing sunrises but it wasn't to be snuck up to the house filled the yeti with a with a nice coffee all right guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it as we went behind the scenes of picking up the caravan at the titanium warehouse we hooked it on the back we got it down here to the farm and we set it up we didn't get it all right the the awning i must admit took a little bit to get out if you don't get it right straight away does take a little bit of time but we worked it out that's what's important these caravans what an amazing job jason his family and the team at titanium do to build a caravan of this quality as i mentioned it goes off grid it does so many different things and we want to take you this off season with us so we're going to be getting away to sa we're going to see family we're going to stay on beaches new years all those sorts of things that we can look forward to and uh, definitely gonna take the camera and bring you guys. Lots of exciting times ahead. I've gotta go in the club and get ready for uh, for the Sainers this weekend. What a big game, must win. Look forward to the challenge as always. It is freezing and it's just starting to rain. See you guys. Well, you wouldn't believe it. Lucky we've got the awning up because as soon as I finished speaking then, it started raining. So unfortunately can't sit out by the fire. I'm gonna have to go in the club make a coffee and kick some footies. See you next time.